Hey YouTube, today we're, we're going to end up doing basically how to get on the inside boxing with elbow strikes and knees. What are you going to do is somebody throws a punch, you're going to blow up. Punch, punch, look, I'm going to knee you. Again, we're going to step to the side, pivot, we're going to punch, punch, hook, knee. Same thing on the other side, we're going to do inside parry. Punch, punch, hook, knee. Inside parry, jab, cross, hook, knee. That's one way of doing going in on the inside of somebody when they're punching, just a punch. Same thing with the high blocking. High block. Elbow strike. High block. Punch, punch. What you're doing, what you're doing, you're protecting your high, the high gate on the right. Punch. You grab that behind the head. Then you throw the elbow shot. Again. Walk. Have this hand up. Get ready to shoot. Shoot. Grab behind the head. And then elbow. When you hit with the elbow, you want to hit with this part of the hand, of the elbow. And with, when you punch, when you punch, hit with these two first knuckles. You don't want to hit with these. Some people would say hit with the last three, but I never hit with the last three. Hit with the first two knuckles when punching. You don't want to break your hand. When you're fighting, most people say have the hands open before you throw a punch, then close it. Me, I like to have my fist closed where my fingers don't get broke in a fight or in a self-defense scenario. Again, high block, punch, punch, elbow, same thing on the other side. High block, punch, punch. You can do it without the grabbing. If, it's, if without the grabbing it's more easier, then you can play with out the grip. But that's only if you want to go in for the clinch and hold your opponent there. You know, keep elbowing, punching him, you know, doing whatever, you know, to keep take control of your opponent. I want punch punch, grab back behind the neck. There you have it. You know, you can control your opponent that way. Another one is, another one would be Pete. Because in Muay Thai, in Muay Thai, they do two things at the same time. They repeat the same counters at the same time. Like, this move could be kick and run, punch, punch the face, elbow, elbow. That's one way of getting in on the inside to your opponent when fighting dirty. Again, same 
same thing with the left leg. You can move around. Remember to breathe. Okay, this is the first one we've learned. Parry, hook, cross, hook, knee. Same thing. You can add, you can add different combinations, just like what I did there. Again, the high block. That's without the grab. This one is with the grab. This one is for somebody's car grabs you. What you do? Make a circle, hour, make a cup with your hands, and then elbow, elbow. There is really no rhythm to it. This is for somebody grabs you by a shirt, like this, and their arms are out. You don't know what to do. Close quarters. You can do it like this too. You hit this part on the arms to make their arms go down. Well, bam. Palm strike, palm strike, rich hand. Same way with the other hand. Boxing weaving move technique. Weave under. Boom, boom. Jab cross. And head the neck grab. Headbutt. So the jab cross. Weave under. 
chair across. Headbutt. Take it in. We're going to do jab, cross, hook, weave under, jab, cross, headbutt. Again, on the other side, it'd be jab, cross, hook, weave under, headbutt. Those are tactical ways for inside dirty fighting. No, for either it could be Filipino martial arts, it could be regular street boxing if you're a stand up fighter, um, Wing Chun, Thai boxing, um, Sabat, whatever style you may do, you can incorporate that into your arsenal, into self-defense. You know, everything I do on the bag has helped me in real life situations, but only for self-defense. That's the only reason why I, I do this. It's only for self-defense only. Set me down to four, hit the light, Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this instructional video. Please hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit all on the bell notification. You'll get every one of my videos. And like I said, you can get good at these techniques in one night. You gotta keep practicing to make it perfect. I've been training all my life, ever since I was nine. I drill over and over and over to do things differently. In the martial arts so dirty habit some dirty basic tactics that you can do for either you know you want to fight dirty in the ring you know you have no other choice if your opponent's fighting back dirty to you you know that'd be one option to take um, if you want to fight dirty in the street that's one way of how to you know maybe get on the inside to be able to take your opponent down with a foot sweep, do some ground and pound on them. Maybe do go into an arm bar when you're, you know, in a street fight. Because usually most fights in the street go down to the ground anyway. So like I said, it's done done four, signing out. Have a good day, y'all. Train hard, train smart, do your research. Like I said, follow me no matter what. Um, I'll get you in the best shape ever. Just you know, in the best fighting shape, you know, boxing, maybe it be in boxing, dirty boxing, taekwondo, um, Muay Thai, whatever you want to call my style. Um, but I call my style G Kemp, G Kemp Kwondo because it's a mixture of everything into one. Um, but the name is just a name, you know, pretty much everything is the same. So, there you have it, folks. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next video.